Peace and love, everybody. This is your girl, Tysandra Barnes. And um, I'm coming back at you all once again to drop some more words of truth and some more words of knowledge. A lot of people may not like what I say. A lot of people may like what I write about. But at the end of the day, everything I'm writing about and speaking about is nothing but truth and facts. And at the end of the day, um, I care less about the haters. I care less about the negativity. I care less about those who are jealous and who don't like me because at the end of the day, I'm not in competition with anybody. I'm just doing me and speaking truth and spreading this knowledge out here. Um, for those who wanna, um, who like my stories on YouTube, feel free to uh, hit that like button on YouTube. If you like hearing words of truth, there you can see some of my books that I wrote about different things within the community. And that's happening all across the United States, far as with racism, drugs, murder, uh, guns, you know, violence that's going on within our world today. But I'm going to be discussing what you all today is called Black Thoughts. Um, I'm here to address these women out here that's out here disrespecting themselves, you know, twerking online, you know, killing their babies, you know, doing all this dumb shit. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I've never seen a bunch of women out here, you know, murdering their kids and burying them. You know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. A lot of these women out here bragging about being hoes. They sleeping around all in the industry. Uh, they um, sleeping with these married men disrespecting themselves, and then they get mad when men call them bitches and hoes. But look how you betraying yourself. You know, just absolutely ridiculous, especially within the black community, how women brag about being hoes. They brag about how many men they done sucked and, 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 and screwed. Absolutely ridiculous. Then you got little girls online twerking and having sex, having babies at 11 and 12 years old. Then you got the mothers. I never seen nothing, nothing like this before. Then you got grandmothers in their 20s and 30s. Some of you women out here is not being no kind of role models. You out here fighting, you know, with your nasty tails. You know, all you all care about is fighting weed, smoking, uh, smoking, uh, smoking weed and, um, and fighting. That's all a lot of these women care about nowadays. Twerking, smoking weed, and buying weed for their hair. And be looking nappy too. Absolutely ridiculous. Half of these women don't even comb their hair. Half of them don't even wash their bodies. You know, when they over here, um, they on this uh, social media bragging about being hoes. And it's just absolutely ridiculous how a lot of these women out here, you know, disres disrespecting themselves online. You know how they're killing their kids is just absolutely ridiculous. Just saw a story, 12-year-old girl pregnant. Ain't got a girlfriend at 12 years old kissing on another little girl. Absolutely ridiculous. Then you had another woman. I saw one story. The woman left the baby in the attic to go to a party. Then I saw another story. A little uh, baby chomped up in, body, in a body bag. While she, um, you know, while she doing her own thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then a lot of these women letting the men abuse their kids. They be little babies. You know, some of you women just need your asses. What? Because some of y'all don't need no kids. Some of y'all out here just too busy on social media, jealous, bringing on negativity and envy. You all bring this garbage on social media with your foolishness. You know, worried about who doing what over some nothing man that don't give a damn about you. And over here on this uh, social media fighting, cutting up, acting a fool. It ain't bringing nothing to the table but just your ass and fighting. Absolutely ridiculous, and they wonder why you all get disrespected by men. I can understand how some men feel about us, some uh, black women, some. You know, how they disrespect themselves and how they ain't got nothing to bring to the table, but just want to fight, you know, hoe around in the street, and most of all, killing their kids uh, for no reason. You know, something is very demonic going on with the black women, how they killing these kids. It's just absolutely ridiculous, and uh, how they just online promoting this garbage. You know, who they didn't have sex with bragging about being hoes. I mean, there's nothing cute about that. A lot of these women is not bringing nothing to the table. All you all just care about just being uh, being social, on social media with bringing nothing but drama to the table. And nothing but your ass. And half of y'all don't even clean that. Absolutely ridiculous. And you wonder why you all get disrespected. And it's sad within a black community far as with women. You all can go to school and be lawyers and doctors and open in you all's businesses. But you all too busy online twerking and going to the club and fighting, chasing men and chasing dick. Just absolutely ridiculous and teaching your little girls how to do it. You know, there's no role models for the young girls no more because the mothers and the grandmothers out here doing the same thing the young girls is doing. Go get a girl. Go chase that bag. 
absolutely ridiculous. And you get mad when you've been passed around from one man to another. Absolutely ridiculous. Being hoes is something to be proud of. That's not how we supposed to act as women. And you all call yourselves queens. Some of y'all don't even be deserved to be called that word. Some of y'all need to be called exactly what you put out. I just wanted to share this words of truth. Because there's just too much of this going on on social media with these women bringing nothing but this garbage. You know, with this, uh, this, this, this jealousy and all this envy crap. And they got nothing going on with, them, with themselves. Instead of being on social media bringing garbage to the table, get out there and build your own business. Go out there and chase your own bag. Go out there and get your own stuff done. You know, you worry about what the next chick doing. But you know, a lot of women just jealous and insecure with no life. But I just wanted to share this words of truth. If those who like my story, Feel free to hit, hit the like button. At the end of the day, I'm just bringing words of truth and knowledge out here. You all can go to Amazon.com. You will see a lot of my books. You know, books that I wrote about, about stuff that's going on within the world today, which is true facts. And at the end of the day, there's no competition. There's no jealousy. At the end of the day, folks get mad when they hear the truth. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to speak in, and I'm not going to start writing for what I believe what's right. Words of truth.